This is a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee, the staple of American outdoorsmanship. Well, as long as it consists of being stuck in mud or in the snow pile at the end of the parking lot. It's a Jeep thing, you will not understand. Ah uh, yes, the Cherokee XJ. The last great car from AMC before their ultimate demise in 1988. An unibody shell, unlike pretty much every other American competition, it was a frontal assault on the old traditions, and sadly, it could not cop out AMC from trouble. But it was so great that Chrysler kept it running for another 13 years. That's a pretty long time. Its conservative square look is interesting, bringing back the good old 70s and 80s look way into the new millennium. The XJ is described as the first small crossover with plenty of Jeep. Its design and market positioning essentially foreshadowed monocoque crossover popularity. 1997 Saudi Cherokee received a facelift and an interior restyling. Both the two and four door bodies remain in production, replacing the fiberglass lift gate by steel so it can rust too restyling tail lights to let moisture in, additional plastic molding along the doors, as well as a new front header panel that feature more aerodynamic stylings. If square is a style to you, of course. On the interior, we have some options like electric mirror and clothes seats and, uh, well, the interior has an all-new design and instrument panel featuring the first blow-molded symmetrical instrument panel retainer structure. This instrument panel featured a unique cluster airbag bracket invented by Peter Grage that allowed the interchange of the components in order for the vehicle to be sold in right-hand and left-hand markets with ease. A stiffer unibody frame brought improvement to the NVH measurements, so noise, vibration and harshness. For the engine, we have the glorious AMC straight 6 4 liter power tech. Yeah, Chrysler pays that name on everything, even engines they didn't even touch. Well, they did in fact play around with the injection system to make it more efficient with the Chrysler MPI. And as faithfully as possible, they did get to achieve even worse millage. Chrysler, Chrysler. I don't even need to think about jokes. You make them up yourself. It's a Jeep thing. You will not understand. Anyway, you could always get the optional 318 Magnum PowerTech engine. You know, the one in every Chrysler products. And you will still keep the best part of owning a Jeep. To get an engine that will serenade you with its magnificent valve chatter every day. But still, both engines are extremely reliable. You only need to keep watch on their lively fluids and they will be running for a long time. Though you need to be careful since the straight six loves to sip on oil while chugging down gallons of fuel per mile. All that fuel for a meager 190 horsepower and 225 pound-feet of torque. It's actually quite respectable for what it is and it is coupled with the Nippon 4-speed ASIN AW4 automatic transmission with floor-mounted selectable 4x4. It's a Jeep thing, you will not understand. So now after a couple of minutes you may be wondering why is the Jeep still parked in the driveway? Well, let me explain it to you. You see these models, just like every other Chrysler model, at very good price on papier-mâché and they have decided to build a suspension and direction out of this precious material. Ball joint, CV axle, tie rods, steering rack, if you can name it, it is surely about to break up. But no matter what, if you're looking for a money pit off-roader, the Jeep Cherokee XJ is a safe bet just like our previously reviewed S10 ZR2 and Land Rover Discovery 2. It's a Jeep thing, you will not understand.